everyone. It's 6 a.m. here, super early. Nobody else is awake, and I'm waking up super early. So we're gonna go to the Tram Am Caves, where the world is newly World Heritage listed area. Uh, it opens at seven, the first boat ride out around the, the Kings at seven. I'm gonna try and be there by 6.45, and maybe pay a little bit extra and try and get out on a boat before every single person even thinks about it. But first of all, just been doing some yoga. All these mountains behind me, absolutely beautiful. Other than that barking dog just now, it has been so peaceful as well. But let's get this day started. So we're here nice and early. It's only 6.45, we're here 15 minutes for everyone else. We've parked the motorbikes up. It costs 15,000 dong a motorbike, so 70 cents. It's there for the day for as long as we need it. And right now, we're gonna get our tickets. Hopefully we're the first people in line, touch wood, and we get out nice and early and get started. Oh, there's, there's someone there, let's go, let's go. Okay, so when you get here, the Chang An is a World Cultural Natural Heritage, you actually have three routes that they can take you on and you get to decide which of the three routes you want to do depending on what cave, what temples you want to see. Now we've been told specifically that number three is the best route. It has a kilometre long cave, but route number one has nine caves. So we're going to have a bit of a chat and work out which one's the best. Now we're going to the ticketing area. So we've just got some fish food and we're gonna feed these bad boys and we're gonna see what kind of frenzy it causes. So let's uh, wait two seconds and see how it goes. The rivers run out. I think we're gonna to have to go on that little cave there. It does not look very tall <laughs> <laughs> at all. So I'm gonna have like a few problems here. Perfect height. All right, Hung Toy Toy Cave, 320 meters. I reckon that's about 15, 20 centimeters maximum. This is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> where, where, where are we going? This is for real.
So we have been going for about one hour now, uh, and I honestly cannot even find the words to tell you how beautiful this all is. We were the, we were the first people out, and we did it on purpose because yesterday when we came here to have a look, there was like 500 different boats out, and that was at 10 a.m. It's now 8 a.m., we've been out here for an hour. We were the first people to get the tickets, and we're out on the water all by ourselves. It's peaceful, it's quiet, and I can honestly say, this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my entire life. And that's 91 countries, that's hundreds of cities, hundreds of national parks, and I think, I think I've found a new number one. I think. But let's go explore. It's two hours in and we've just seen the other first set of tourists. So make sure when you do come here, you get here at seven o'clock when it opens and try and be the first people in. keep saying it but I am absolutely mind blown at how beautiful this place actually is you don't need to bring anything at all for the whole trip you have to have your life jacket on at all times which sucks for photos but you've got to do it it's the law uh, but nearly every stop you go to there's a very one small vendor that has basic snacks drinks even we had some hot coffee at a temple before so there's plenty here for everyone do not stress the only thing I can suggest is that it is going to get even busier and busier here in the next few years. So get here as quick as you possibly can. <laughs> 